Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve this problem. The problem is obtain V0 in the circuit of figure 3.54. Okay, and we are going to use nodal analysis. Nodal analysis and we need to do step by step. First one, let's label all the nodes. Label all nodes. Okay, we need to label the bottommost node here as our reference node. So we'll have reference node. Or some book says that this is the ground node. And here the voltage is equal to zero. Good. And in this circuit, we only have one essential node, which is this node here. Let's name this node here as node VA. And we have no other node, right? And then let's assume the direction of the current. Assume the current direction. The current direction. Okay, let's assume the current direction. Let's assume all goes out like this. Okay. However, we have some problem here. We cannot calculate the current that pass through this 30 volt voltage source. We also cannot calculate the current that pass through this 20 volt voltage source. But we can calculate the current that pass through this 2 kilo ohm resistor. So we need to use this non-essential nodes here. So here, it has to be 30 volt lower than VA. So this node here will be VA minus 30, right? And then this node here will be VA minus 20 because it has to be 20 volt lower than VA, right? Good. Now we can calculate the current because the current is in series, remember? current in series is the same. So this one will be the same as this one, and this one will also the same as this one here. So we can calculate the current from this resistor and this resistor here. So let's do the third step, which is doing KCL. Let's do exactly that. We need to do KCL at node VA. KCL at VA. What does KCL say? KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Okay, there, there is no current that goes in, so we will have zero on the left hand side. Good. And then let's see here, we will have the current that pass through this 2 kilo ohm resistor. We only see this highlighted part here. Right? Why? Because we cannot calculate via this current here. Okay, so now we will have VA minus 30. VA minus 30 is where the, where the current comes from. And then minus 0. Because the current goes from here to here, which is the reference node. So we'll have 0 here divided by the resistance between them, which is 2. Good, and then we will have another one. Similarly, we only see this highlighted part here. So the current is came from VA minus 20. So we will have VA minus 20. And then minus where the current goes, which is this node here, which is zero. Good. And then we will have it divided by the resistance between them, which is 5. And then lastly, we will have this one here, a simple one. So we'll have VA. VA is where the current comes from. And then 0, where the current goes to. So VA minus 0. And then divided by the resistance between them, which is 4. Good, now let's simplify things. So we will have 0 is equal to VA minus 30. Minus 0, it's nothing. So we'll have this divided by 2. 
and then we will have this one here so we'll have pa minus 20 divided by 5 good and then what else we will have pa minus 0 which is pa divided by 4 good now let's multiply both sides by 20 why it's 20 because that is the lcm of 2 5 and 4 so all of this will cancel out right 2 and 20 will cancel into 10 so we will have 0 is equal to 10 pa minus 300 yeah because 30 multiplied by 10 is 300 right so we will have this one here 5 and 20 will cancel into 4 so we will have 4 pa and then minus 80 and then finally 4 and 20 will cancel into 5 so we will have plus 5 pa good minus 300 minus 80 we will have minus 380 but then let's move that to the left hand side so we'll have 380 good and then we will have 10 plus 4 plus 5 that will be 19 pa okay we can isolate pa here so we'll have pa is equal to 380 divided by 19 what is pa pa is equal to i think that will be 24 okay but then we need to answer the question the question does not ask about pa but p0 so the last step will be answer 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 the question what is p0 p0 here is the depth the current across that 4 kilo ohm resistor this is p0 right but then that will be the difference between this node and this node. So we will have V0 is equal to VA minus 0. VA minus 0 is just VA. And we already know the value of VA. So V0 is equal to 20 volt. And that is the final answer for this question hopefully i did not make any mistakes in this calculation let's highlight the answer so they know that this is the conclusion of this problem okay i think that's all for this problem thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye